Airbus hopes to be able to deliver around 720 commercial aircraft this year, the same number that it originally targeted for 2022 but failed to reach. Production of the narrowbodies is gradually ramping up during the year, but the supply chain remains fragile. So in this video, we're going to talk about the amazing Airbus news. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. The France-based group also targeted an adjusted operating profit of 6 billion euros, 6.4 billion dollars in 2023, after posting a stronger than expected 5.627 billion for last year, up 16% from 2021 and helped by positive pension effects. The new targets for single-aisle jets confirm a shallower trajectory disclosed by industry sources last month, with a goal of 65 A320neo family jets a month slipping to end 2024 and the rate of 75 slipping to 2026 from middle of the decade. The industry continued its recovery during 2022, with air traffic increasing and airlines turning to their long-term fleet planning, Forey said in the results statement. We delivered solid financial despite an adverse operating environment that prevented our supply chain from recovering at the pace we expected. The company had to adjust its operations accordingly, which led to lower commercial aircraft deliveries than originally planned. We are adapting our production to match supply. The introduction of new propulsion technology is not something that happens overnight. As such, we'll not see the Airbus A380 MSN001 multinodal testbed aircraft launched into the skies with a hydrogen engine mounted to the fuselage in 2023 despite the recent reveal of a hydrogen electric fuel cell engine as a parallel pathway to direct combustion. However, Airbus will take several incremental and crucial steps on the way there. These include the launch of a series of tests across novel propulsion, including hydrogen and electric, and supporting technologies such as cryogenic superconductors in collaboration with CERN. Yet despite hot spots, sources say several key yardsticks of supplier performance like missing parts per million are steadily improving. As they do, internal pressures are coming into greater focus and forcing Airbus to set up a special task force. Supplies of A320 fuselage shells from Nordenham, Germany have been disrupted following tensions over a reorganization. The result is work being done out of sequence which needs more time and labor. A220 cockpits are seen as similarly affected. Airbus declined detailed comment on operations and referred back to Forey's comments in January that it faced a complex environment, as well as a fragile supply chain. Although many companies are struggling to say abreast of disruption following COVID-19, some in the industry noted a decision by Forey in 2019 to downgrade the top supply chain leadership post, which no longer reports to him directly. When snags do arise, many questions whether they're cutting through layers of internal reporting as quickly as they should, especially following a slew of senior departures or retirements while Airbus gets its production activities and supply chain in order, the manufacturer continues to enjoy a strong environment for ordering. Airbus won 1,078 orders in 2022, although this fell to 820 after cancellations. Airbus started the year with 37 new orders for January 2023, all for A320neo and A220 narrowbody aircraft. However, it was Air India's blockbuster commitment to order 470 aircraft, 250 from Airbus and 220 from Boeing, that won all the attention in February 2023. From Airbus, Air India plans to order 140 A320neo and 70 A321neo narrowbody aircraft, as well as 34 A351000 and 6 A350900 widebodies. Deliveries will start in late 2023 with A350900s. As orders have risen and airlines have seen passenger traffic come back, the order has also returned and pressure to raise output has also increased. Both the FAA and EASA are insisting that design changes be made to the rear center tank RCT of the A321 XLR, lest it potentially poses a fire hazard in the event of an otherwise survivable crash. In a document from December 8th, EASA said that the tank should be put in a position that is not likely to fail or rupture in a survivable crash condition exceeding the applicable existing emergency landing conditions. The agency further recommended that Airbus consider including some additional fuselage designs features that would mitigate the effects of potential impact and scraping. Airbus will need to live up to expectations though as global air travel closes in on full recovery airline and leasing company customers are becoming increasingly frustrated with a slow ramp up in output. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to your next video. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video.